how to fix an anti-theft light in your 97 Mustang. See that? That light's on, this car will not crank. It's got an anti-theft system, which runs off three components, which is a computer, a ring around this cylinder right here, and the key. And I will show you which ones need to be removed and how to go about doing it before you get your car program. <clears throat> this is what came out of this blue Mustang. This was the steering wheel. Alright. And this was the sole problem right here. They hollowed it out. They drilled it out so they could turn it with a screwdriver to crank the car. Now, that set off the anti-theft which also breaks this ring. And this ring is real important. That ring sits right there. <laughs> right there. As your key goes in like this and you turn it over, it gets a signal. It shoots through this, comes on down through here, and hits this which sends a signal to this, which is under your dash. I'm not sure if this has to be replaced, but I went ahead and did it because I had another parts Mustang and I went ahead and traded it all out. But that is the most important part. That's the computer to this whole car. Once you replace it, you should be able to program the car after all these items are replaced. If this is cracked, you cannot reuse it. You'll have to get a new one or a new steering wheel. The main point of this, you unplug your wires, you undo these screws, them four, this will be in your lap. The steering wheel column will be in your lap. Now there will be a bolt back here holding this to the shaft that comes out of the floorboard. Now you unhook it and it will be permanently loose. And as you do that, make sure that everything's unplugged to your battery so you don't surge the computers. Make sure this computer's replaced. What I did, I don't, not sure that I had to, but I made sure that I went ahead and did it because this is the computer, this is everything. So, replace these components and you should get rid of your anti-theft problem and the car should run with no problem. These are the things that you needed to take out and right here is your computer. I just showed you that computer, but it's right in here. These wiring harnesses are the first thing you unplug. Make sure the battery is disconnected so you don't surge your computer. Now, when you take these wiring harness off, there's a bracket right in the way. Now the computer kind of pops in just like a wiring harness. So what you do is just wiggle it out and pop it out of its plug. And then you'll have your own com your computer from right here and replace it with the one you have. This is the key to come with the original steering wheel column of the other 97. You see that square part on the top? That's where the chip is inserted in your key. Now, we got a new one just like it. It's the same thing, it's a little more bulky, but the company come out here, they program the car, and it, it crunk up with no problems. And this key looks just like this. Standard, right? Nothing on it. But that is what you need to see. That is where the chip is. And with that chip, it's a big problem when it's not programmed to the steering column. Sorry guys, to the steering column or the computer. 
this car will go into anti-theft and will not crank. It's a Ford Pat system. You do have the key. The most important thing is try to get around replacing the steering wheel column. I've seen people reprogram their keys and it work or they've actually broken into this and they zip tie it to the actual sensor. So when the key turns over, they're reading the original key. But they have a stock key in here that they bought from Walmart or Ace or somewhere of that nature. Yes, I got the car programmed just to prove that the car will crank up. You'll have a running vehicle. One that it's all over with.